All right, we're gonna crack this box open real quick. Whoa. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Dude. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? JT here with an unboxing of the all-new Arma Fireteam Tactical Unit 6S Off-Road 7-Scale Vehicle. Now, this thing right here is awesome. I mean, I don't, I don't even know what to say. I'm still at a loss for words. Just that Arma came out with something like this. Um, I thought that they would never do anything like this. This is just, this, I don't know, it's still amazing. I'm still um, at a loss for words for this, but this thing is awesome. As I did mention, it is 7-Scale. Um, and it does have some new features and stuff that are not featured on any of the armor cars. So we'll go through that as we kind of get this unboxed and look at it. But man, this thing is awesome. So let me go ahead. Let's get this box open and let's take a look inside. And you guys know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to say, guys. This is awesome. This, this is, I don't know. <laughs> This is bad to the bone. And it comes in two colors, guys. Uh, so let me go ahead, smell just a little bit, and uh, let's get this bad boy out and let's see what Armor did here. All right, y'all. So pulling this out, oh my gosh. This thing, this is awesome. This is awesome. I mean, I I, I don't know what to say. I might have lost for words. When I think of the word Armor, this is kind of what I think about now. <laughs> So you guys see the layout of this this truck or this truck buggy armor tactical unit car is is beautiful guys This is just words cannot do it justice. You have to see this up close and it does come in two different colors um, It comes in this black mat and then also a white mat. Um, so you guys see those images coming up for that, but this is beautiful Oh my gosh, I'm just like I said, I'm at a loss for words. Great job with this armor This was totally unexpected and a great way to start out 20 22. So looking at a couple of things with this, um, we're just going to kind of work our way from the outside and kind of work our way in. So this is or this does have um, a couple of components um, from some of the other vehicles. So it does have the Mojave chassis on here, but it's not the EXP chassis. So if you want to upgrade to this to an EXP chassis, you can do that. So it does borrow the chassis from the Mojave and then also the A-Arms from the Creighton um, 6S EXP. Um, and then everything else is kind of just brand new to I'm pretty sure you can do the chassis braces are going to be the same But we'll take this uh, body off um, in just a few minutes and then we'll take a look on the inside And then I'll also compare my Mojave to a matter of fact I'm gonna show you guys the size difference the size difference between this and the Mojave So there you guys see that there. These are both basically seven scale vehicles and this is big So it's not a small vehicle by any means. It's not um, eight scale by any means or 10 scale. So it may somewhat look like it may be a scale, but this thing is big. So anyway, um, working our way from the outside in, look at these tires, guys. These are, oh, that's nice. This is a completely new design and a new wheel for Arma, um, as well. And these are vented. I did see little small holes, um, there in the wheels, or the, sorry, in the tires for this. So these are vented. So you don't have to worry about, um, putting a little, some people may actually put additional holes in it, but I think it's going to be fine as is. We're going to take this out and run this actually through some water and stuff. Uh, probably submerge it in water right about here just to see, you know, how this runs. It's not just going to stay in there, but, um, the compound on these actually feel really good. They don't feel too soft on the sidewalls and they don't feel too hard either. A lot of times with these kind of tires, um, they have a good tread pattern, but then they'll have a soft sidewall, which is going to create a lot of ballooning. But these tires don't feel like um, they're going to be that soft. So we're definitely going to get this out and take this for a couple of runs and stuff to see how this holds up. Uh, working our way in, look at this body. Look at that design on that. That is awesome. That is awesome. I've always said Arma's done a great job with their bodies and their paint schemes. And this is no exception to the rule. Now, looking inside, they do have four figurines you guys see up in there. Um, and these actual um, guns that are on them are, are removable. So... You guys see there, it's got probably a 2.0 or 2.5 um, hex in there. These actually can move up and down somewhat that you can actually take these um, guns off. In case you're running, you don't want to flip and start breaking these things off. But this alone is just putting it in its own category, in my opinion, because that's pretty awesome. I mean, I can see guys really getting pretty detailed with this. I can even see people 
Um, are these heads turnable? Oh, sweet. They are turnable. <laughs> so that means they're probably unscrewable too. Oh, that's going to be something because I can see some of you guys actually drilling little holes in their heads and putting lights in there. And that's going to look awesome at night. Oh, that, I, I don't even know what to say. I, I can see so many things going on with this particular vehicle um, with this. So let me go ahead. Um, let's get this body off and let's see what's underneath. All right, y'all, but before we get this body off and take a closer look at this beast over here, uh, I want to take a look at our bag of goodies. So you do get some uh, shock pistons in there, which is good. Um, and you get a speed pinion gear. Um, you guys see this here. This is a 15 tooth, but what's actually on the vehicle is a 12 tooth. So we'll definitely put this to the test. Um, armor didn't claim on, on the box or anything, 60, 70 miles per hour. And you don't really, you shouldn't really want that for this. I mean, to get... I'd say in the high 40s, low 50s should be great, but we'll try this out too. Um, you probably want to watch your temperatures if you put this in here. So there's warnings and stuff to talk about that. Um, and then, of course, you get some tools with this. Um, always good to have extra tools with your kits. Uh, and then you guys see here, you guys get some um, shims for the differentials. Armor started doing this a little bit over a year ago, so it's good they include this as well. And, of course, you get stickers. I love it that Armor's been including st the stickers for the last couple of years with this. It would have been cool if they had some custom ones with this. But, you know, we get what we get here, so at least you get stickers with it. Uh, and then, of course, you get um, a blowout of the actual... Um, vehicle. So we'll go through this a little bit more. I'll probably go live Friday night. Um, I'll let you guys know about 6.30 um, Eastern and we can take a, a closer look at this um, vehicle and then some of the components and parts on this. And then you do get an instruction manual. Now, I do recommend always, and I know you guys probably hear in every video, but especially for this, take a couple of minutes and look through the instruction manual because they do give you a lot of good tips and stuff of keeping this vehicle running good. And they also give you some maintenance tips as well. Um, a lot of times people get these cars out, they end up running them. And after 15, 20 runs, they say it's not running the same, but they give you tips in here to keep your car running good as it did when you first got it out the box. So um, I do recommend that you actually go through this instruction man and look at some of the stuff in here. So, all right, let's take a closer look at this vehicle and see what we got up close. All right, so taking this body off, taking a look at this roll cage underneath. Now there's a couple things with this. This is actually built pretty good. For one, you guys see here, um, the figurines and stuff are kind of screwed in. So you can make adjustments and stuff to that if you want. Um, but you guys see this roll cage for it. And it's actually laid out pretty good. There's a couple of things in there I do want to point out. One is it does have, um, only uses three body posts. It's two in the rear and then also one up front. But on the side, it's actually got these um, uh, holes in there are positions for on the side down here. And I want to explain this real quick. So a lot of times I've had particular uh, vehicles similar to this, I mean, smaller scale and stuff. And one of the first things to actually break is that our come apart is going to be the body. It seems like Arma did their homework as usual with that. And what they did is they had these little posts here on the side. So when the body sits down, it actually is securing on here. And then they also did this to the front too. You guys see this here with that. So when you put the body on, not only are the body posts holding this body on, but you also have these to keep it more secure down so that it's not moving or if you flip, the body's not kind of moving back and forth and um, ripping into the body posts and everything. So, and they do have a foam spacer there. So that's good they did that. So good job with that armor. Um, pulling all this to the side real quick. Let's zoom out, let's go out just a little bit and you guys see the layout of this. Now I did mention that this is uh, the Mojave chassis, but you can also use the Mojave EXB chassis. So this is not the EXB chassis on here, but you can actually put one on there. So things that are going to be different, of course, is going to be the bumpers front and rear. You guys see that those are completely different. I know some of you guys are already out there thinking, "Ooh, I could put that on my XYZ. You probably can because uh, most of these uh, parts are going to be compatible with your um, 6S, 8 scale versions, of course, with the Mojave. Um, which is seven scale and stuff. So I know you guys are, your brains are actually running at a hundred miles per hour, kind of like mine is with some of these components that can fit on there. So we'll go live in a couple of days and we can pull out a couple more vehicles and kind of do some side by side comparisons to see. And if we have time, um, we'll probably maybe look at a couple of things with that, but we'll see. Um, but anyway, uh, you guys see more of the layout with this. This does come with the spectrum system. This is a 2050 KB motor. 150 amp speed controller. It does have, of course, EC5 connectors on her. You get your looper for there. Um, I normally just run one battery on her. Sometimes I end up uh, just soldering one connector on there for one battery, but um, you do get a looper in case you don't want to run two batteries um, 
it, you don't want to run two batteries on here. Now it does have also a handbrake on here and the radio is um, a three channel radio. So you can go in and use this, um, that third channel to get this functioning right here with that, which is good. So the shocks are now this shocks, maybe they'll be doing this for a lot of the other vehicles. This reminds me of the TLR TT or the uh, uh, Team Losi Tune Typhon. Um, these are black anodized, which is good. And it kind of gives it that mean look. And these are aluminum and threaded body with those. Uh, taking a close look, you guys see that right there? Look at that. You guys notice something different? <laughs> so I'm glad they actually did that um, because um, some of the other differentials, um, I think the way we're running them before, uh, some people were doing upgrades to them. So Arma already thought about doing that upgrade to this. So that is a good thing. Um, other things with this, you do have adjustable sway bars. Um, you do have sway bars, not adjustable, sorry, sway bars front and rear with this. And then also look at these chassis braces. So if this uses the Mojave chassis, then you can also do the EXB uh, chassis braces front and rear with that, which is going to be good also for either whether you get the Mojave ones or there's some aftermarket ones um, you want to get for that. And you guys see that body post there. <laughs> I never thought anybody would do that. Um, I thought I was the only one that was actually putting body post single on the front of that. Um, and then looking at the shock tower, let me get this turned around quick because I want to show you guys a couple things with this. All right, so you guys see these shock towers front and rear. Now, you may think that these are designed off the Mojave chassis, but there it is. But these shock towers are different. Um, you guys kind of see those pictures coming up for the stock shock tower and then also for the EXB shock tower. You do get a couple more positions in here, um, whether you want to lower this down, some, which I probably do at some point. Um, maybe position it maybe here to lower down. I also have to do some configuring with this, but the shock towers are different. So you guys see that there. So you can't just buy the Mojave ones and put them on here because it will probably affect the way this vehicle is going to perform out the box. I did want to let you guys know that these shock towers and stuff um, are different on here. And then another thing is too, is these side steps here. These are actually plastic, which is not aluminum, which I think is fine with that because if you start rolling and stuff with aluminum, it's going to get scratched up. It could get dented up. And with these plastics, it's going to kind of save on some weight with that. So, guys, that is a look at this. Um, I'm not going to go to too much more detail because that pretty much lays this thing out. I am excited, really excited to get this thing out and get it running. I think Arma has done a great job with releasing this. And I cannot wait to get this running. I really cannot. So you guys uh, put your comments down below. Um, I'll have, of course, tons more videos coming up on this um, in the next couple of days. And we'll go live in a couple of days. And we'll do some speed tests and stuff with it. But this, like I said, is a quick unboxing and look at the fire team tactical unit. Seven scale 6S vehicle from Arma, new for 2022. And this is a great way, in my opinion, to bring in the new year. This is going to be awesome. I mean, it just really is. So, anyway, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.